Okay, I got the new FMF F4.1 RCT titanium exhaust with the carbon fiber end cap. As you guys know, I took off the uh, the stainless steel one and sent that one back. Uh, we're gonna weigh this one. This should weigh a pound less than that stainless steel one, which was the same exhaust except for it was stainless steel. 5.5 pounds, it is exactly one pound less than that stainless steel version. Check it out, baby. Looking good. Now it's time to install the Shinko 705s on the new Warp 9 Supermoto wheels. Let's go for a ride. watching cycle cruises all on one motorcycle channel subscribe today hey if you missed part three making tubeless supermoto wheels go check it out okay now it's time to install the shinko 705s on the warp 9 supermoto wheels this is my first time installing street tires on the rims i did install those v606 tires on the wr250r rims those those new did dirt star rims that I put on the bike, which by the way, the bike is absolutely awesome now. And I look at it, I'm like, man, is that a WR250R? It looks so different. Uh, but she's hotter though. No offense, baby, but she's hotter. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, here's the tire. You wanna make sure you put it on the right direction. It has an arrow there, rotation. Okay, so that's the correct side. I got the brake rotor there. So I'll be going that way. And all you gotta really do is just look for the dot. There's a dot here that you're gonna line up with the, where is it at? Right here. It's kind of faint. There's a dot there where you're gonna line that up with the uh, valve stem area. I'm gonna spray some soapy water here on the bead and then slide it on there. I'm not gonna use a stand. The stand is great for the dirt bike tires. But for these tires are kind of stiffer, so it's gonna, I'm gonna use my knees to help put it down. <laughs> yeah! Spoons here. It's made by Motion Pro. I'll include links in the description and comment section of this video uh, to where you can get the rim shields and this. It's got this beadkeeper tool here. Should help. There. Nice. tire out there because I had this metal piece because of this this tire arm broke off <laughs> so I had to pull that out of the tire I think I damaged the bead possibly of the tire 
you learn some lessons the first time you do anything. You know, you, you gotta crawl before you can walk. Yeah, guys, it's unfortunate. I've tried my best, man. I've uh, literally been like two hours, and I'm back at square one here. I broke, broke the tip off of here. <laughs> I tell you, these, these uh, Motion Pro irons are pretty good, man. They stay, even that bent a little bit, but at least it didn't break off like these tough ones did. And this worked good on those the WR250R tires, man. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to give up. I mean, look how deep this is. I mean, it's deep, man. I had this Shinko 705 is impossible to put on this rim, man. I may have damaged the bead on it um, because there's a tear on the bottom. I don't know or not if it's gonna affect it. But I'm just gonna have to take this down. I'm gonna take both wheels down to the shop and have them um, and put them on and balance the tires because I it's the first time man couldn't do it man I failed and it sucks failure sucks because I'm the type I never give up usually I never give up but I'm I'm just about pooped with this man I don't know maybe you guys have a better way by the way this the tire size is a 120 70 17 that's the tire is supposed to go for this 17 by 3.5 Supermoto rim. Anyways, once I get these wheels completed, I'll do a separate video installing them on the bike and hopefully I won't have any issues. And once I have the wheels installed on the bike, I'll install the Trail Tech uh, Vapor Speedometer Computer, which will be only for the Supermoto setup. For dirt, I'll probably even take it off. Uh, I have another OEM fender I'll be cutting up uh, for a Supermoto fender. I'll use that for dirt. And I have some, some blue fork guards that I'll be customizing for the Supermoto setup. I'll keep these for dirt. Uh, LED headlight coming, Baja Designs 2200 LED lumen headlight blue with you know the hot blue housing. And the only issue I see with that is this brake line, which hopefully it'll go behind it. If not, then I'm probably going to have to try using a, a WR450F brake line, which is longer and can accommodate the light. So I relocated. The horn here, I had to customize the bracket with a Dremel. It shares a bolt with the fan kit. Looks much cleaner there. I can tell you guys, I'm just ready to ride this bike already. I, it's been a month almost, man. September 1st is when I bought the bike. Uh, a lot of you guys think I'm gonna get rid of the WR250R because I have this powerful YZ450 now, you know? That's not true, guys. I mean, this bike is still an absolutely amazing bike. It's uh, what's so sick about it is it's not only is it super reliable, but it's super low maintenance, and you can do a little bit of everything on the bike, man. You know, when I ride this bike, I'm not thinking about doing oil changes and valve checks like this bike. This bike, you got to do oil changes every seven hours and valve checks every 15 hours, which I'm not going to do. I hear the valves never go out of spec on these bikes for a long time. There's a guy on YouTube that has uh, a YZ450, a 250 FX. And it, the valves never went out of spec after 100 hours. So I figure once a year, I'll probably have the valves checked and get the pistons checked, clean, whatever. Uh, but I'm just going to do oil changes, regular oil changes, and clean the, the air filter. Just keep the bike clean. Hopefully that'll work out. We'll see, guys. I'm going to share the experience with you. But this bike, I don't do nothing. I do once a year, I do an oil change on this bike. And every couple of years, change the coolant and brake fluid. That's it, man. That's how I tell you, this bike is amazing. Um, but for those of you guys that always ask me about my gear, you know, my camel pants, my boots, gloves, everything, I always include the links in the description and comment section of my video or go to my website at cyclecruiser.com and click on the menu tab, my gear. And there's a bunch of links to all of my gear, cameras, a lot of all of my stuff. And if you want to see more of my videos, click on the menu tab, my videos. And those are a bunch of video playlists with over 1200 plus videos categorized into those playlists. Uh, to make it easier for you to navigate through and hopefully find something that will inform you or entertain you. Hey, hit thumbs up, share this video, comment, really helps my, my videos, my channel. I appreciate all you guys. Hey, don't forget to subscribe to my All On Motorcycle channel and also go check out my other channel. Book out Moto! It showcases a van that I customized for cheap that allows me to live in my van with my motorcycle anywhere and has a ton of cool mods. And that channel has everything from build videos, trip videos, uh, anything and everything. Bug out moto. As a courtesy, I included two video playlists. 
one for new riders and those are all of the videos I've done over the years that I feel are helpful for new riders and also my popular videos playlist hey hit the subscribe button I appreciate it take care